What is up ladies and gentlemen, G Wo here back with some more post commentary for these next two episodes. As I mentioned in my last one, forgot to start recording when I was doing the commentary. So this one isn't going to be live. Well, I mean, the gameplay is live. I'm just recording my voice after I've recorded the gameplay, if that makes sense, yeah. So they call that post commentary for all of you who are wondering, what the heck's post commentary, Jiwo? There you go, there's your answer. And now, we're continuing on with Tali Zora's loyalty mission. So what is she up to? Alright, so... Summing up the last episode really, really quick, quick little summary. Tali was shipping Geth parts to her father's ship, which is the Alarai. Okay? Uh, now she's being tried for sending... I guess they're claiming that she was sending active Geth to that ship. And now everybody on that ship is dead, thanks to the Geth. But she never sent those parts. So we're going to the ship to try and clear her name. Alright, here we go. Hop on the ship. There's the Death Star. Gotta get away from it. And that's the Alarai. But as I mentioned in my last episode, need your opinion? Stick with 1080p or should I is 720 okay? What do you guys think? We need a quality test. <laughs> Alright. So here we go. We're aboard the ship. We're running through. There's Geth. And I get lit up, of course, because I fail. I mean I completely forget that I have this cloaking ability, which is why I wanted to be an infiltrator in the first place, but I fail, and now I fail some more, because I'm just still getting lit up, and well, at least I'm using my cryo ammo to help break through that, and does that guy have a flamethrower or something? But yeah, there is more geth, jeez, these guys never stop. What I love about Tali, about her tech powers, is she has that little ball that can, you know, I forget what she called it. I don't even know its name. But it's awesome because it can go behind things and start shooting at them. So it can like navigate around the terrain. If somebody's hiding behind something that you can't see, that ball is going to go over there and start blasting that person or thing or collector or alien, whatever you want to call it. That's why I keep Tali on my team. I like that. The big thing I'm lacking is biotics, but I have incinerate. So I kind of cover, I want to say, the biotic slash sniper side of things, whereas Tali covers the tech, and I like Garrus because he's more of like the heavy artillery. So we have tech, biotics, sniping, and I guess we have two assault type classes. Except I'm not assault, I'm more close range or super far range. But that's my team. I mean, I do love uh, Kasumi and I really want to use her on my team, but I feel like this is a lot more to my liking. It's a lot more suitable. And here we find out. Yep. It looks like the Geth were hacking the systems, baby. Too bad they're not mass hackers like us. Mass, mass, master. Wow. Open Gangnam style. What do you guys think about that video? I mean, isn't that just crazy how freaking popular that is? I mean, who would have thought K-pop music actually being played on American radio? On Kiss FM of all things. I mean, that just blew my mind. And it's just, it's been number one, like, every night for the past, since it came out. But the other night it was number two, so maybe it's getting a little old. But big shout-outs to Psy. Dude, that guy made a hit song. A worldwide hit. Everybody in the world knows this song, and that is crazy good. Alright, so we hacked something, we're getting our credits. And let's talk to Tali about this thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm still getting over my sickness that I had the other night. My throat's been hurting, but I've been drinking a lot of tea and a lot of warm things to, to kind of get get it a little better. Okay. 
anything new had and Tali is telling us why she was sending the geth to the ship signs of modification clues to their thinking i don't know the story of mass effect did they create the geth and then the geth took over their planet or did somebody take control of the geth i'm going to kind of look that up right now mass effect geth Story. The story behind the Geth. These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have uh, first thing that comes up is Mass Effect 3 Geth history Didn't clips. So maybe you learned that in Mass Effect 3. Yeah. Oh man, my eye itches. No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father... Ooh, what if your dad actually did that stuff, huh? Doesn't that make you angry? The closer Geth physically are to each other, the more intelligent each one becomes. That's a quote I just saw online. Effectively, they share their brain power. An individual Geth has only a basic intelligence on par with animal instincts, but in groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any of the organic races. That's crazy. The Geth, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, here I am hacking, and of course I'm, I'm the best, and everything's okay now. I skip rocks. All right, so what's going on here? All right, looks like it's gonna, we're gonna have another uh, firefight, just because the music changed. I mean, you can totally tell from the music. And I don't know if somebody did a concussive sh did Garrus do a concussive shot? It's hard to say. But... Oh man, it's getting real. Really, was that all that was coming down the stairs? I feel like it wasn't. But here I am checking around, because, you know, I check every room for credits, for... I don't know, anything I can get. Like, any plans, any upgrades. I've been very thorough. Thorough. Mm. Ooh, let's look at the the monitor. Yeah. Oh, just got gunned down by the Geth. Did you hear them? They were doing their their battle cry. Go 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 click 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 click. All right. So hacking. Let's see. Circles. We got the circles. That's how we do it. Because even when I'm not recording live, I gotta say, sir, like stepping stone, circles, push doors, and whatever the last one is, I always forget. Stepping stones, push doors, circles. Oh. And here we have the Geth coming at us from all angles. Man, it's a firefight. Why am I not using my sniper rifle? I need to start using that. And I think this is where I get angry at Tali. And I'm like, yo, Tali, what are you doing? Get back here. Because that sounds about right. I don't like her just jumping out into the fray. Does she have a shotgun? I think she does have a shotgun. That's pretty cool. But she needs to send her little tech ball thing. I think she sends it here. I, th I think she says she calls it out. Don't quote me on this though. Oh man. I wonder why I was taking so much damage. It was a geth right behind me. But I need to use my sniper rifle more. It's, it's strong, it breaks through shields, breaks through armor, it's just everything you need in a weapon. I'm kind of happy I didn't take up assault combat training or anything like that. I just stuck with my sniper rifle, and I hope I get to keep that. 
<laughs> nice catch. All right, more hacking. And it's probably more credits or something like that. Yep. Dude, we're getting good at it. All right, and I think we have another log that we get to read. Yeah, there it is. Let's watch another movie. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. Oh, what's going on, Tali? They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogram. Break it down, girly. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father <laughs> parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Yo. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data. If that's <laughs> a different disruptive hacking techniques, I don't understand all of it. Sorry, I'm watching a fighting game stream while I'm doing this. Deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then father was doing something terrible. And you guys like my mechanical keyboard? Did I tell you I got one? Did I ever mention that to you guys? Freakazoid, Freakazoid, dun 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 and you can hear me talking like a typewriter. And my mouse is a Razer Naga 2012. It's the green one. I'm liking it. It works when I play Diablo 3. It helps me out a lot. Makes me feel good about myself. It's very shiny. And I have a lot of... Yeah, a lot of good times with these... These gaming peripherals. <laughs> peripherals. All right, let's have another Geth battle, ladies and gentlemen. Pull out the sniper rifle, Jiwo. Can we please do that? That Geth would be dead down there if you just pulled out your sniper rifle. But guess what? You're not. Why aren't you doing that, man? Cheese and rice, bro. And look, now you're just going to take tons of damage because there's a Geth sneaking up the stairs that you aren't even looking at. See? Look at it. There's two of them getting up. Oh, see, you're luck. I'm lucky that I had Garrus just there for. Oh, snap! He's right in my face. He's not shooting me, which is the best part about it. Maybe it's because he wasn't with his pack members, so he couldn't think. He's like, "What do I do now? I'm holding a gun. The enemy's right in front of me. Herp a derp. I can't put one and one again. <laughs> I gotta love the hate. Gotta love the hate I generate." <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if there's any other submachine guns I can get. Because this one, while it's nice and everything, it's just, it's very inaccurate. But I mean, it does the job. It's strong. I mean, it has a lot of ammo. <laughs> Alright, I need some water, man. I'm already talking a lot. I think that's the problem. I just, I talk so much, and since I'm still kind of sick, my throat starts hurting. But... We are getting close to the end of this episode, because I remember this is where we ended. So, stay tuned. Well, we're not ending just yet. Yeah, it's not over yet. That's right. We gotta explore a little bit more, you know, talk to laptops, get credits. Oh, see, I don't even know why I walked away. See, now I gotta go back to the laptop, and... Here we go. That's crazy. Still we're making progress. Rail Zora is convinced we'll have a viable system in less than a year. This weapon will put our people back on the homeworld. And it's all because of Rail Zora. 
Okay, people, Rail Zora is Tali's father. Tali Zora, oh, that makes sense, huh? Uh oh. There's a dead Quarian. Wait, are they even Quarians? I gotta double check that I got my back straight. No, no, no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. Yeah, her dad's dead. You wouldn't leave me to. Hey. Hey, come here. Yeah, look at that. We're here for you, Tolly. And I hope you're here for me, too. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Dude, look at how nice Shepard sounds. Gee, whoa, Shepard, you are a player with all the women. Jeez. Too bad you can only be good or bad. Or, not. it's not really good or bad. Yeah, as you guys have told me, you know, Paragon is just doing the nice way to get around to doing things, but Renegade is more of just getting the job done, not really caring about the consequences as long as the job gets done. So anyway, Ralzor is breaking it down for us. Oh, run away from the Geth. I think what I would do is just hide in a cabinet. He was trying to help you. <laughs> it's not perfect. It's not what you It's want. like amnesia. Do you guys ever play amnesia? Don't, it's scary. <laughs> no, I mean if you're in a scary games, go ahead and play it. Thinking he never really cared or thinking that he did and that this was the only way he could So? It doesn't matter. It's true. Your dad was the one rebuilding Geth and got himself killed. And now all the blame was pushed onto you, but what are you going to do, Tolly? How are you going to be set free from this trial? And we got seven Paragon for that, which is always a good thing. More hacking. I remember this hacking thing kind of... This confused me, because they had the three in the line, and I was just like, I did not, I could not remember which one went where. But we got C. I was like, where, did, where was the circuit again? But then after after you get two, you're good to go. So, we got that. And yeah, we're gonna hack. Well, not hack some more, but we're gonna clear this place out. Oh, look look at this. We got another hack site. And we got dead Quarians all over the floor. Sad day. It's a sad day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, and there we go, Hackmasters! All right. So, all right, it looks like this is where we're gonna end the episode now. So thanks again for watching, everybody. We're gonna have more Mass Effect coming at you right after this episode. See you in a bit. Jiwo out.